back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we're totally checking out the brand new NECA Toys Kenner Classics Retro Reissue Tribute Line, the Rhino Alien, of course, based off the old Kenner 1996 KB Toys repainted blue and silver alien, beautifully recaptured, redone on the packaging for the NECA Toys figure. The side of the box... The back of the box, everything is glorious about these things. I love seeing the cross cells. I love the little bio, send in the space marines, all the different figures of which I do not have Vasquez. Ah, anyways, nor the blue. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. That's all I can say. Bad, bad toy shiz. Here's everyone involved with the figure. Here's the barcode as well. He's starting to hit Walmart stores, and of course, in true traditional NECA fashion, open it up, see the figure inside. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of acidic blood. This is a look at the brand new NECA Toys Kenner Aliens Tribute Classic Collection, the repainted Rhino Alien. And here's the Rhino Alien all out of the packaging. I gotta say, NECA really killed it on this one. The look is classic Kenner toys, even on the back of the figure, head ramming action. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see what I did here. It was all a ruse. This is the real Kenner NECA toys action figure, and it is glorious. Ha ha, gotcha. <laughs> this thing is every bit as awesome as the original released NECA version. All the details, all the huge little tiny mini mouth that comes out of this thing, it's amazing. It's a giant sucker. <laughs> comes right out. It's, yeah, it's every bit that you would want. It's slimy. They put like this glaze over it, gives it that extra you know, disgusting feel to it. Has a very metallic silver blue paint job to him. As far as the articulation goes, it's the exact same deal. Though, you know, you pull the mouth out. This is, I'm gonna go over my favorite aspects. Some people say, oh, you don't spend enough time on articulation. It's the same exact figure. If you have it, use nose. If you don't, well, it articulates very nicely. The one thing I'm gonna say is, the dome doesn't stay on. I wish it clipped. That was something I brought up in the first version, the orange release. It does stay on certain angles, but see you tip it, yeah, it just, it will go south. Here's my huge recommendation to those watching this. Put this guy in a thing of hot water for a little bit. The joints are very frozen, especially in the arms and especially in the head. So that's just a heads up something that I ran into. Please heat them up, do what you gotta do in that sense, especially in the neck and especially at the joints and the arms. But overall, he's nicely articulated, he's huge, he's heavy, he's bulky, his legs work, you can put him down, you can have him standing up. He stands really nicely. And I know some people have said, hey, can you focus on the feet? Yeah, he's got nice big flat feet and he looks great standing. He will need a NECA stand, just FYI, as most figures these days do. You don't want this guy going toppling, but the paint brings out the detail more so than the orange and red version. You can't go wrong with this guy. If you don't have that version, grab this one. If you have the other version, grab this one as well. Again, the head is what makes it. He's got a sharp rhino point to him. The horn is sharp. The dome is fantastic, it's great, I love it. It's clear blue, it's got little black veins all over it. I just wish that it clipped on better and stayed on better. It becomes, when you're posing and everything, it will fall off. It's kind of a hindrance, but only in that sense. Put him down on the ground, have him getting ready to charge on you. Won't even fit on my stand, he's that big. But the guy, he's got the articulation that you want and can be put in the poses that you want and he's a huge mamma jamma of a figure. When you pose him up next to the original Kenner KB Toys re-release, which this is based off of, uh, in recreating the paint, and even going so far as to add just a little bit more blue as opposed to the original Kenner release, which I think works, although it still doesn't have the head ramming action. I can't believe you didn't do that, Neko. Well, how, how come? <laughs> next to the original, yeah, it's the same exact figure. I like them both for equal reasons. 
the fact that, yes, they did this so early. I knew it was coming. Everyone knew it was coming. You got to do that. And if they did others like the Mantis, I wouldn't put it past him to do it as well. But I think within the new blue and silver version, it kind of brings out a little bit more detail that you don't normally notice as opposed to this orange, black, and red one. It's not a problem. It's not a hindrance, but it's kind of cool and it differentiates it enough to really have a be a new type of figure and all of these sort of alien figures to me regardless of the color is a different figure because multiple species of aliens and whatnot and that's what i just tells myself when it comes to pairing him up with the other NECA kenner released figures he stands gloriously he's huge he's a big huge hulking rhino alien and you're gonna have a lot of fun posing him on your shelf when it comes to Predator. Now, standard Predator figures, yes, he's going to totally tower over them as well. And as far as the other Kenner NECA aliens, yes, he's still the tallest one next to, say, the Snake Alien. The Snake Alien is probably longer when you stretch them all out, but dang, that's a nice-looking Snake Alien. So that's really going to do it for my look at this new redecoed Rhino Alien. I love this guy. I think he's fantastic. Go easy on the joints. Heat him up. The dome, eh, take it or leave it. It's not a huge problem, but it's not something great. Also, thanks to Walmeet Jones. Go check out his artwork on Instagram. They've sort of kind of teased the next, possibly next, NECA Kenner Aliens figure. So fingers crossed. Which one would you like to see? Last time I talked about these, the King Alien actually won, but now I've kind of had some time. I'd love to see the crab alien with the missile launchers. I think that that would be a lot of fun, some parasite firing <laughs> missile launcher crab action. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about this new version of the Rhino alien. Do you have him? Do you need to get him? Will he be part of Kenner Aliens collection? Comment below, let me know, and let's talk everything aliens. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, when it comes to these old toys becoming new toys, well, you got to have both, right? Now you got to go back. If you get this guy, you got to get back and get the old Kenner KB Toys one. You got to do it. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.